Lawyers, instinctually and by training, tend to abhor absolutes. Law students are often the same way. To them, almost no proposition is precisely true or false, only more or less probable than a competing proposition. This reflects the fact that the law itself is intrinsically uncertain in its operation, meaning you can seldom state anything unequivocally. What, then, is the poor law student to do with true-false questions on a law exam? The typical true-false question presents a single statement. Your task is to indicate whether the statement is true or false, usually with no opportunity to explain your rationale. The format calls for a direct and definitive response, contrary to the law student's disposition to second-guess and qualify everything.